know, really, Zig. I swear that dragon complimented me. Yeah, he told me it had been a long time since a human had annoyed him so. That's a compliment. Oh, you don't think so? He said annoyed, not infuriated. I swear that's a compliment. Have you been paying any attention at all? I... Zig, Zig, shut up, there's a human! Oh, <laughs> I guess you're right, I'm human too. Hello there. You're in very deep here. These woods are not very safe for those who don't know the tread. The tread? You know, the path, the swing, the way. I'm surprised you made it this far without... tell. You had protection. Too bad I just left. That means I have to join you on your journey. Okay. So, where are we headed? To the hive? Oof, <laughs> you're a couple of weeks late there, my friend. She died. Yeah, some accident to do with... Mm. Well, I heard it had to do with an ogre's toenail. But I did hear that from an imp, so take that with a grain of salt. But she is dead, that is for certain sure. Everyone's talking about it. So, do you want me to escort you out? Oh, you have other business. Sounds good, where? Mmm, sounds like a lot of fun. The deadfall is always so interesting. There's always something new going on there. What are you doing there? Oh, yeah, you can get all kinds of potion ingredients there. If you ask nicely, you can get pretty much anything. There are pixies and fairies, the small mischievous kind, and phoenixes and brownies and all kinds of other things. But there are also blood elves and fae and other such creatures. You always need a trusted partner if you go there. Unless you're me, of course. Mostly because mo many of these creatures have known me for a long time and have gained some respect from even the meanest of them. Many a fae have found that out the hard way when they tried to charm it and lead me away. <laughs> that rhymes. What? What do you mean that sounds doubtful? <laughs> I pity you. If you only use looks to determine what others are capable of, you won't be able to even make it in human societies. Hey, what's this? A noble's badge. Oh, that explains it. You're from one of those noble families. Trying to make it as an adventurer? That's what I thought. Do you have a party? Oh, dang! All of them turned to stone? Rough! Guess I'll have to help you then. I kind of like adventurers. I hope to find my own party someday. I think it'll be quite entertaining. I've always found the idea of having a party fascinating. Relying on one another, covering for weaknesses, and adding to each other's strengths. I sometimes daydream about it. Maybe it's just the fact I'm human. Most of my fr friends here in the forest find the thought uncomfortable and don't like doing anything more than crossing the clearing to find more food or tend to their gardens or talk to a passing friend. They live in the outer edges of the woods. Most of them are sprites. To be honest, they're kind of boring. <laughs> so, I like to dive deep into the woods. It's hard to make friends with the creatures this deep in. But I've been getting closer and closer to this dragon that lives <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> I almost told you where he lives. That would have been bad. You adventurers like to go about killing things just for the fun of it. Though, so, you might be different. You're different, right? Oh, good. Oh, here's the river. Be very careful. It's incredibly fast. One time, I slipped into it and was flushed all the way out to the sea and met a merman. Mm-hmm. A scout. His name was... Sklepokopa Tisakalis. Or something like that. I hope I said it right. <laughs> yeah, it's quite a mouthful. He laughed at how short my name was. Oh, my name? I'm Clicker. <laughs> yeah, that's why. So, step here. And here.
and here we are. Hey, look at that. It's getting dark. Probably time to set up camp. Unless you travel through the night too. Oh, you do? That's good. I hate stopping during the night. There's always so much happening and I hate missing any of it. But we better be quiet. This part of the woods tends to be a bit more treacherous than anywhere else. 